Okay, this is a demonstration of some of the AI and machine learning integrations from Cluedin. How we can speed up a lot of the standardization, cleaning, enrichment, and many other pieces of the you know, data supply chain. So I've got an example here where I've imported some data on companies. I've just kept it simple just so we can all see exactly what the, the platform's doing. And you can see this data is pretty bad missing a lot of values. In some cases, it's actually got the wrong value. We've got the wrong standardization. This should obviously be a country name. This country code's fine. We might want to turn it into you know, either the two-digit or the three-digit or maybe some other type of standard. Um, speaking of standards, the phone numbers are all in their own um, structure. Um, if we add some of these other columns, so let's take notes, things like this. Um, that uh, uh, within the notes, we can also see that sometimes some of the values are buried within unstructured data as well. So there are many ways to fix this and address this data included, and you should be using them uh, because they are still extremely valuable even with the AI pieces. The reason why that is, is that AI is just yet another input of validation. And what we're wanting to build up here in your most trusted source of single source of truth of data is multiple different places all essentially agreeing on the same values. And that's what helps build up trust in the data. So we're going to fix all of these problems in a matter of seconds, um, all with natural language. So for that, let's head over to our management screen and let's head to the rule builder. So within here, we've set up a couple of rules. I'm just going to activate all of them. And let's go through and, and take a look at some of these. So let's take something like the lookup address. So what we're telling the engine here to do is that where the type of data is equal to this organization that we've onboarded into the platform, um, I want you to run this AI lookup address. And as we look into the specifics, all we're really telling the system here is um, uh, we're writing in plain English, and this could be in any language that you want. So you could write this prompt also in, in any language. What is the HQ address of organization name in organization country code? Okay. If we take another example, so let's head back. Let's do something like the website. Same type of filter, but this time we're just asking, what is the website for this name? And returning the value in a standard format of a URL. So notice that we're just using natural language to be able to, to address these challenges. So let's piece that together. If we were to go to something like Microsoft and we go to the address, you know, naturally we, we don't have things like the website on this and the address. It was missing in that internal data. You could argue there's a couple of problems here. This is not a country. This is a country code. Um, we've also got this non-standardized phone number. If we head over to something like um, Amazon, we've got different types of problems. We've got the wrong value actually coming in. Um, we've got another format of the phone number. Of course, we don't have the address or the website. Um, and what those rules are doing is it's going to inspect every single one of these records and it's going to pull these individual tokens out. So in the enrichment of company uh, website or um, the uh, HQ address, it was using the name and it was using the country code. So that would formulate to the AI a question that says, what is the HQ address for Amazon in AUS? Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to run this in bulk. I'm going to ask it to now go off and reprocess all of those organizations now that I've enabled these rules. And something pretty magical happens in that if we go back to these records and refresh, we'll notice that absolutely everything is done perfectly for me. Where it's fetched the website, it's standardized the phone number, it has um, changed the country that was AUS to its country name. It has corrected the Mark Zuckerberg CEO uh, value, and it's also uh, enriched the address. Let's go over to something like Google. 
And for this, we can see that it's got the address. The country name has been um, changed. And um, we have a rule that's extracting the longitudes and latitudes out of this unstructured data. You can see that it's put it into its, its own structured format now. Our phone numbers are standard. Our website's been fetched. And this was all in the matter of a couple of seconds using natural language. This is just one of the many pieces of AI that are um, in the uh, next version of the Cluedin platform. So super exciting time ahead for anyone using Cluedin.